Creality is one of the biggest 3D printer manufacturers for hobbyists and offers a wide range of printer options, catering to all skill levels from beginners to expert enthusiasts. In this video, we will explore the 3D printers Creality is featuring for 2023, helping you determine which one of them is right for you. A quick disclaimer, there is a link in the description of a chart comparing all the printers in this video. With all that said, let's get into it. The Ender series is the most popular because of its entry level pricing and ease of use out of the box. They offer a great introduction into 3D printing. The bottom level base printer of the series is the Ender 3 V2 Neo. This is the latest version of Creality's most popular printer model, the Ender 3, and has been ironed out over the years to give you the most reliable experience. The V2 offers a standard size print bed, 120 millimeters per second print speed, and will print common PLA plastic. Its big brother, the Ender 3 V2 Max Neo, has virtually the same specs with the only difference being a 30% larger print bed and a redesigned look. Both printers use Bowden tube extrusion, offer auto bed leveling, and advertise a three-step assembly. The Ender 3 S1 is the next step up and perfect for somebody who wants a basic 3D printer, but is willing to pay a little bit more for noticeable enhancements. The S1 has two major differences to the Neos. First, it prints at a max speed of 150 millimeters per second, which should cut down on your print time by 25%. Additionally, it is equipped with a direct drive extruder. This will reduce clogs and give you more accurate extrusion rate, resulting in cleaner prints. The S1 Pro looks the same as the S1, but has one noticeable enhancements and a few more bells and whistles. The S1 Pro has an upgraded extruder that will heat up to 300 degrees, which will allow you to print with more varieties of filament, such as nylon and vinyl. It also comes with a few non-print related upgrades, such as a touchscreen interface and an LED light. Finally, we have the Ender 5 S1, which is a major upgrade in the series. It is noticeably different due to its box-shaped design and its redesigned X, Y, and Z axes. This type of axis design is becoming more popular with higher level printers as it has been shown to improve print quality and reduce failures. Aside from the visual differences, the Ender 5 has an upgraded motion system and print head to allow up to 250 millimeters per second print speed, more than twice that of the Ender 3 Neos. The upgraded extruder and print head also increases the types of filament that can be used. Additional features include a touchscreen interface, optional enclosure panels, and a slightly taller print area. The Ender series is great for a wide range of beginners with different budgets. These printers offer a taste of current 3D printing technology without a tremendous investment. The CR series is primarily advertised as higher-end machines for hobbyists, schools, and businesses. This series has a wider range of printer capabilities, ranging from small portable to commercial grade. This is also the first line that introduces the ability to print over Wi-Fi without additional equipment. The entry model into the series is the CR10 Smart. However, I noticed that the CR10 Smart is sold out everywhere, so I decided to cover the CR10 Smart Pro instead as it offers more of a contrast to the Ender series and adds more value to the increased investment. The CR10 Smart Pro combines the best of the Ender V2 and S1 printers. It bodes a similarly large print area to the V2 Max Neo, direct drive extrusion, 20% faster print speed than that of the S1, and adds a nifty little LED light. New features include the previously mentioned Wi-Fi capabilities, a low power mode, a PC spring steel bed, which allows for perfect placement of the bed sheet, and has upgraded internals designed to be ultra quiet. The Smart Pro also offers a wide range of filament compatibility, such as the ability to print with carbon fiber. The CR10 Smart Pro is a major upgrade to the Ender series. However, the CR series also offers different types of printers aside from upgraded performance. The CR6 SE, for example, is not known for its performance, but more for its sleeker design lighter weight, and quick assembly. Advertised as a somewhat portable printer, it is not much different than the Ender 3 V2 Neo. Yes, the printer has a more compact design, adds a few upgrades, such as intelligent bed leveling, 
a touchscreen, and a carry handle, but the performance is subpar when compared to the cheaper V2 Neo. For instance, the print speed of the CR6 SE is 20% slower than the V2 Neo and the machine costs nearly 36% more. I actually question why this printer is still advertised. The CR30 has to be the most unique 3D printer ever made. This printer operates very differently as it uses a conveyor belt style print bed and prints at a 45 degree angle. The print area is smaller on two of the axes when compared to other models, but is infinite on the other axis. Due to the unique design, the print speed is significantly slower than every printer on this list at 80 millimeters per second. Since it does have an infinite bed axis, large prints such as chains or props are possible. However, this printer really shines in manufacturing conditions. The ability to mass produce a product with minimal human interaction is hugely beneficial to a small business. The premier printer of the CR series, the CRM4, this printer has the largest print area from Creality and can print a wide range of filaments with its high flow hot end. However, it only has a max print speed of 120 millimeters per second, which is on the slow end of Creality's printers. It does come with a few added features, like a built in cable chain and PC spring steel bed. The printer also has wireless connectivity and a new feature called multi printer control, which is geared towards print farms and printing multiple batches at the same time. Being described as a quasi industrial grade printer, it's a workhorse for creating big models with little to no post processing required due to its rigid frame. Introduced in 2021, the Halot series is relatively new to Creality and is their first and only line of resin printers. Advertised as entry level, these printers offer hobbyists an affordable view into resin 3D printing. The Halot 1 is the base model of the series and has the smallest build plate, standard print speed of 60mm per hour, and the lowest resolution when compared to the rest of the series. The bright spot of the model is the Wi Fi capability which is a nice touch and is standard for all Halot printers but one. The Halot 1 Pro is a definite upgrade to the Halot 1. The build plate is more than 50% wider and is accompanied with a 7 inch LCD and upgraded resolution at 3K. The printer is advertised as having 90% light evenness for cleaner prints and dual Z-axis rails for more stability. The next step up, the Halot 1 Plus, offers a build plate that is not much larger and has slightly different shape as seen by the dimensions. The print speed stays the same compared to the One Pro. However, the LCD is slightly bigger and offers a much better resolution at 4K. The Plus model continues the Wi-Fi capability and adds a built-in carbon air filter to reduce the fumes and smell from the resin. Introduced in 2023, the new Halot printers, the Mage and Mage Pro, bring significant upgrades to the series in an attempt to compete with current market of resin printers. No longer entry level, these printers offer a much larger build plate and a 30% larger LCD, allowing them to produce an 8K resolution. Additionally, each printer also upgrades the air quality with a built-in air purifier. The Mage Pro separates itself from the Mage by offering a print speed of almost twice that of the Mage and three times faster than previous Halot models. To widen the gap, the Mage Pro has an added feature of a built-in resin pump, which allows you to fill or empty the resin chamber with speed and reduced mess. The K1 series is the new flagship series introduced earlier this year. With this series, Creality is entering a new age of 3D printers, competing with the likes of Bamboo and Flashforge. The fully enclosed 3D printer cannot accurately be compared to the Ender or CR series printers as it is a completely new design with significantly upgraded printing performance. Both printers offer the best of Creality with auto bed leveling, direct dual gear extrusion, high flow printing head, and Wi-Fi capabilities. The K1 series claim to fame is its 600 mm per second print speed, competing with industry standard speed printers. While the K1 has a standard size print area, the K1 Max offers a 40% larger print area and comes with a LiDAR sensor and a built-in camera for print monitoring and time-lapse videos.
As Creality has arguably the largest catalog of 3D printers, I hope this breakdown helps you with your understanding of the range that Creality has to offer for 2023. From the Ender to K1 series, there is a printer for everyone, from beginners to experts and businesses. Thanks for watching.